so i am going to talk about my uh, cyber security journey uh, so uh, i started my cyber security in seven uh, back seven years ago in 2016 17 and i am currently like uh, i have three years uh, three years of uh, three years of experience in web application pen testing android pen testing and network pen testing and i'm currently working in uh, tech mahindra as uh, security analyst so i'm facing uh, like day to day i'm facing some uh, uh, problems like regarding web application pen testing uh, there are lots of uh, problem regarding web application pen testing uh, android application pen testing uh, due to the cpn uh, now uh, i'm happy to share that due to the cpn i am able to successfully tackle those problems and that's why and the cpn is uh, i would recommend you to, to go for cpn because it's a very good uh, certifications and you get overall knowledge of the secure uh, and uh, network security web application security then exploitation how to exploit how to go bypass the privilege escalations uh, so uh, it's also interesting story so when i landed in uh, techm uh, there is a uh, i uh, talk with some colleagues and ex colleagues of techm they uh, they forced me to why you are not going to the cpn because you, uh, i already done with ch in 2019 um, so why not go for the cpn so after that i will just explore what is cpn and uh, how uh, examination process what is the lpt i also know about the lpt and in this way i got attention to the cpn and i introduced to the cpn the fabulous experience with cpn how they conducted their lectures how the study materials uh, are uh, well arranged and after that uh, i labs are there so uh, so anyone like not uh, have any idea about uh, the ct apps uh, what is the web application pending they they also go to the courses they are literally very well explained so you can uh, prefer those while your examinations and you can exploit the things and you can uh, you can gain uh, how to gain root privileges how to privilege, uh, privilege escalation works what is the uh, binary exploitation uh, and uh, after the difficult part in cpn examination is the yeah basically the some uh, privilege escalation and iot part also so when the iot part i don't know aware about the how the iot formats works uh, how we extract how we get some juicy information from that form where so i'm not uh, I'm sure about that but uh, due to some the course material and pdfs yeah i am pretty uh, now after i am uh, continuously reviewing and taking notes and also practicing on uh, my local host machine local uh, network uh, after that i uh, i get confidence about that how we can exactly exploit uh, the particular iot thing and after that the privilege escalation part is little bit harder because uh, we got some user shell or uh, least user shell but after that uh, the privilege escalation part is little uh, Tough. We need to check for the kernel ex kernel uh, kernel exploits. Then some services running or not uh, pseudo permissions in this way. First thing they have the whole study materials like videos, very well explained videos. You can go and you can access them whenever you want. You want to learn. There is a PDF also. Uh, you can you can read PDF and take a notes. And after that you can implement uh, it. Uh, to the uh, examination or uh, any other challenges in uh, also day to day uh, day to day life uh, whenever i stuck i go for uh, go go back to the notes and prefer notes for my day to day pen testing work also and second thing is the proctor uh, proctors thing and the overall the connectivity of the uh, examination is good the proctors are very helpful easy assessment uh, easy assessment from the uh, proctor like when uh, they uh, give the give the overview of the particular exams like how to connect and how to connect the examination and that's this very nice thing and third things uh, like uh, after that uh, when submitting report we get uh, like quick response from the their examination department like uh, you uh, you are clear or not uh, that's a good thing because sometimes uh, in other certification it takes two months three months or sometimes three weeks also so i feel better when i uh, like uh, submitted report and after uh, one week or within one week i got the mail like you are uh, passed lab experience i lab experience uh, experience is uh, overall good like the procs the vpn connections are good uh, whenever like in other uh, platforms uh, whenever i try to get connection connection or a uh, using vpn the connection little bit slow uh, and if uh, we are uh, trying to uh, fuzzing or scanning in map sometimes they are crash also so you need to restart or reset that machine every time so it's quite difficult but in the i lab 
it's uh, like better uh, better than other compared to the other uh, you know uh, environments they are better because they uh, contain the dignity like uh, for the labs the or interactive la- interactive lab uh, dashboard is also there so you can uh, side by side watch videos or you can prefer your notes and you can solve those labs that's a great thing tools and topics i'm using from the cpd is basically the nmap hydra bob suit uh, i am using day to day life right now while i am here pen testing then i also introduce about some atfios like whenever uh, we encounter with any iot how to exploit uh, that particular iot's then firmware analysis then uh, then some reverse engineering tools also there then how to string commands how to extract some uh, strings from binary data uh, and how to reverse the binary uh, binary packages and using that then there is hashcat here or uh, hydra for brute forcing uh, the services then map how to uh, detect vulnerable services and attack use, uh, attack on those services so event is uh, very beneficial in my career right now because i'm getting the call from abroad or some other countries or other uh, cities like uh, we have opening uh, are you interested uh, in doing the job and sometimes i got uh, the call from clients they have iot devices on on with them so it's very helpful like i'm first after the completion examination i'm firstly getting iot assessment uh, regarding iot assessment calls so it's very beneficial for my career and in current organizations uh, the manager and senior authority are thinking about the promotions also because i got lpd also so this is a global examination and uh, i'm getting call from abroad regarding that for uh, infra infra pen testing then iot pen testing then overall uh, red teaming uh, things Uh, uh due to the cpn cpn versus oscp uh, when i uh, went to the exam i know uh, the cpn is uh, i think quite difficult because i had not uh, like any attempt the oscp yet but i think the uh, cpn is quite difficult because we need to switch your mindset from web application pen testing to some reverse engineering then after the iot section is there and after that you need to Uh, uh, recon- uh, re-exploited that sometimes because uh, when you get the uh, connection from the uh, services, sometimes uh, they are not uh, like uh, maintained very well. So we need to go to back then re-exploit these things. Sometimes they are connected to the next machines also. Sometimes, uh, sometimes. So that's thing. Uh, that's why I think the CPN is. more dif- not that but quite difficult than oscp so after the uh, completion of cpn cpn uh, i'm getting some confidence regarding that yes uh, i can uh, give to uh, give, give to the oscp and i can crack it in my first attempt so i got the confidence from cpn uh, like after completing my cpn i'm getting a lots of dms in my linkedin like how to prepare for cpn how to crack the cpn uh, or how to get the lpt so i uh, first thing you, uh, you need to go to the all courses and uh, pdf materials you have to read uh, read the pdf carefully and taking the notes because notes taking is very important whenever you watching on youtube or the uh, course section provided by ec council or reading this reading the pdfs uh, you must take the notes and after that uh, uh, update the second step is updating that particular notes because in current assessment i know i very uh, know very well like there is a, a ubuntu or kernel level exploits which are recently launched in 2021 or 2020 so i just have uh, read those uh, blogs while reading those blog i take that particular uh, exploit from exploit db and paste it in my uh, notes on while uh, while my cpn it's very very official because there are three or four machines are actually vulnerable uh, vulnerable to that particular kernel exploit so it's uh, very good and very effective way to update your notes day to day basis and third uh, third part is uh, do practice uh, practice every uh, day at least 2 to 3 hours spend your time on uh, some reading iot blog how to exploit uh, iot firmware analysis then some reverse engineering stuff then some how to extract uh, the sensitive data or uh, from the binary then after that uh, go for the a uh, try hack me or uh, try me have very well the learning path from net open testing new open testing offensive pen testing path then go for the world now and after that world now uh, go for the hack the box and uh, side by side you can try to solve uh, the i labs also this are so very good. the labs are very good and last point is taking the effective uh, pos is also uh, good 
uh, so very important for that because uh, whenever like uh, i also shown some people have um, not cracked cpn because they uh, not uh, uh, write the report uh, good report for cpn so uh, please spend some more uh, time on the report writing uh, because when uh, when i completed my exam i also like uh, happy yeah, i completed all the examination but when i uh, took the report part it's like taking very hectic because uh, i am not taking proper screenshot so uh, that uh, that time but due to the i am using green shot so i just inverted the black ground uh, black background to the in uh, white so that's a uh, upper hand for me uh, uh, for me uh, using the green shot also so you can use green shot uh, flame shot for a uh, screen uh, screenshot or visual uh, visual pocs and uh, you can use a one note keep note or obsidian for taking notes not each and every time uh, when you are doing or when you are undergoing to the cpaint or solving any labs make, make sure you are uh, taking notes and after the last part is uh, after that the day before examination uh, you prepare um, those notes as uh, organized like if you are uh, sometimes people uh, store the ssh or uh, suppose there is ftp xss or smb notes are there they are put it on uh, all notes in one place so make sure you can organize before the day or, or today of the exam it will be very beneficial and time saving in your examination whenever you go for your examination or you can go back to your notes and if they are not organized then, uh, then you are in a big trouble uh, if they are organized you can go yeah i have smb uh, enumeration then go for smb section you can take got all the commands like how to exploit smbs and how to uh, exploit it how to gain uh, shell or in this way you can exploit it